reading from last Sunday's Old Testament lesson from Jeremiah 11. You, O Lord, who judge righteously and test the heart and mind, to you I have committed my cause. This is the word of the Lord. Like many of the Old Testament prophets, Jeremiah wasn't always welcomed by the people God called him to serve or loved by them. In fact, sometimes they hated him and his message of repentance. Sometimes they wanted to silence Jeremiah and even kill him. But even in, but even in difficult and challenging times, Jeremiah chose to remain faithful to the one true God. And he said, Lord Almighty, you who judge rightly, to you I have committed my cause. Jeremiah knew that in the end, God and his truth would prevail. Jeremiah knew that trust in God was trust well placed. Now, similar things could be said about Jesus. He wasn't always welcomed by the people God called him to serve or loved by them. In fact, sometimes they hated him and his message of repentance, and they wanted to silence him, even kill him. But Jesus chose to remain faithfully committed to his heavenly Father's will, his heavenly Father's cause, even when it led him to the cross for us and for our salvation. Jesus' trust in his heavenly Father was trust well placed because death was followed by Easter. And the same is true for you. Trust in God is trust well placed. Life as a Christian can be difficult and challenging. Putting God's will into practice in your life can be hard to do because of opposition from the world and because our own sinful nature wants us to do its will. But trust in God and his will and guidance and direction for your life is trust well placed. You can trust that the sacrifice of the cross cleanses you from sin and guilt. You can trust that even in difficult and challenging times, doing things God's way is the wise and sensible way. Trust in God is trust well placed. Let us pray. Faithful God, whose mercies are new to us every morning, we humbly pray that you would look upon us in mercy and renew us by your Holy Spirit. Keep safe our going out and our coming in, and let your blessing remain with us throughout this day. Preserve us in your righteousness, and grant us a portion in that eternal life which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen.